Right, my name is Nick Harab. I'm a consultant in accident and emergency medicine in a large hospital in Lancashire. Well, health informatics is the interaction between people and information systems in healthcare. The people have knowledge and the information systems contain data. And the data are very important for the decisions that people make in terms of their own health, in terms of the way they judge professionals in the departments they, uh, they work in, um, and in terms of how politicians, decision makers, policy makers allocate resources. The people side of it is that information systems can um, seriously interfere with the quality of work and therefore with the quality of patient experience if they're not uh, configured correctly. And if they're well designed, they can enhance people's work. They can um, avoid becoming a distraction from giving care to patients and actually enhance patient experience by virtue of making it easier for the professional to deliver the, 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 the kind of care that they come to work in the morning setting out to deliver. What was it like being a, a student? It had to be distance learning because my job is a busy one. I have to work weekends, I have to uh, get up in the middle of the night, um, not every night but sufficiently frequently for it to be um, a consideration. Um, and I have to keep on top of uh, the basic medical developments in my speciality. So I need a way of studying that is um, flexible around my day job. And this is what distance learning offered. It meant that I could um, adjust my, uh, my study routine and schedule. Um, I could access the learning materials online. I could access the library online. I could come into the university when I needed to. Um, but it's a major advantage not to have to travel when uh, one's based at home. So distance learning meant that I could come into the university when I needed to, when I wanted to, um, but I didn't have to fit in with a fixed schedule. I could download the learning materials, um, I could um, do the learning assignments in my own time, I had access to the library facilities, I could download journals um, over the internet, and um, it was a very flexible way of studying for the degree that I wanted to obtain. Although distance learning is a very flexible way of approaching the degree, you obviously have to accept the discipline of managing your time. So th th there are some costs to one's family and um, with children in the household um, there's a cost to them as well that you have to manage. And y you, you can't afford to devote all your time to study and, and, and not make proper time for your children. You can't afford to neglect your work, or your spouse for that matter. Um, so there's a balance that you have to be able to negotiate with your family on what is going to be their time and what is going to be your time. And making time might mean giving up something else that you're interested in. It might mean um, going to bed um, at a different time from your normal time, waking up earlier so that you can start the day uh, by doing an hour or two of work before you actually go to the day job. How you do it, obviously, is a matter for um, the individual person in their own circumstances, but um, I found myself waking up in the middle of the night um, thinking about um, whatever it might be, and then deciding that if I wasn't going to go to sleep, go back to sleep, um, I could use the time profitably by getting up and doing some more work. Um, I could set the alarm early and um, get up and uh, start writing uh, before breakfast. Um, I might uh, defer going to bed until I'd got through the next um, couple of hundred words that I wanted to get down in a sensible form on paper. Any student embarking on um, new territory needs the support and feedback from a knowledgeable tutor. And even more so with distance learning because you spend so much time by yourself. So what were the tutors at UCLan like? 
well, firstly, they were knowledgeable about health and um, in combination with being knowledgeable about informatics as well. So uh, their experience was grounded. They were down-to-earth um, people who uh, had their feet firmly in um, the, um, the area where I work.